Namaste. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss about the partial differential equation used in one dimension wave equation and heat equation. Okay. The one dimension wave equation is given as del square u by del t square equals to c square del square u divided by del x square. And when we move this part to left hand side, it becomes like this. So comparing with it the our standard form that is a del square u divided by del t square plus del <coughs> b del square u by del t del x plus c del square u by del x square equals 0. We get a equals to 1, b equals to 0 and c equals to minus c square. Okay. So b square minus 4ac is positive that is 4c square which is greater than 0. Since it is greater than 0 it is hyperbolic in nature. That means one dimensional wave equation is hyperbolic uh, partial differential equation. So again let us consider a second example as heat equation. Heat equation is du by dt is equals to c square delta square u divided by del x square and moving the this part to left hand side. So du by dt is minus c square del square u divided by del x square. By comparing with it the standard form we get a equals to 0, b equals to 0 and c equals to minus c square. Yes. So b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. Equals to 0 means it is parabolic partial differential equation. So let us again use this formula to derive to derive our equation by using central difference quotient okay so du by dt is d uh, u i comma j plus 1 minus u i j divided by h and it can be written as c square okay constant and it is second order derivative so u i plus 1 comma j minus 2 u i j plus u i minus 1 j divided by k square okay it is as it is k so by cross multiplying it we can get as u i j plus 1 minus u i j so h into c square divided by k square okay and brackets this is upper term so let us consider h uh, c square divided by k square equals to l or lambda okay and it can be written as u i comma j plus 1 is u i j plus lambda and this term so it can be geometrically represented as it if lambda equals to 1 by 2 okay if lambda equals to 1 by 2 then this becomes this is multiplied by 1 by 2 1 by 2 into 2 is 1 and this is 1 by 2 so it becomes u i j u i j and it is cancelled so this is the equation we get u i comma j plus 1 equals to 1 by 2 multiplied by u i plus 1 j plus u i minus 1 j and this form is known as bender schmidt recurrence relation or schmidt recurrence relation okay so this is the bender schmidt recurrence relation and we will be using this recurrence relation in another numerical okay so thank you and bye bye